Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Bilal Academy, my name is Bilal and today I am going to solve a simple problem related to the sulfur extraction on the Aspen plant. So if you are new at my channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get the notification of my upcoming videos. So let's start. First of all, let's assume that we have a field having a 50 weight percent acetone and 50 weight percent water. The flow rate of the field is 100 kg per hour while its temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 1 atm. I am using a solvent methyl isobutyl ketone which is also known as MIBK uh, having a flow rate of 100 kg per hour and temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and pressure is 1 atm. So this solvent is used to extract this acetone from the water because the solvent is not dissolved in water while it can extract acetone from the water. So in the extract stream we want to obtain 95% acetone while in the refinite stream we want to obtain 95% water. So in order to solve this problem in the Aspen Plus we have to first define the components in the Aspen Plus. First of all we need to open a new simulation. Define the component, write here water H2O and then write acetone. For getting the uh, MIBK, you have to search for methyl dot, uh, dash iso. So, this is the methyl iso ketone, uh, methyl isobutyl ketone. I am just selecting it and close it, and you can rename it here MIBK. Now, I will click on this next button, and now I will have to define the property method. As you can see here, here there are a number of property methods. So which one you should prefer? So for this purpose, I am going to show a chart in front of you. So this is the chart for selecting the property method. Uh, are your components border? Yes, over components are border. Are your components uh, are electrolyte? No. Is the pressure greater than uh, 10 bar? No. Uh, is there any interaction parameter available? Yes, available. And uh, is there any liquid liquid equilibrium? Yes. And for that purpose, we have to use these two methods. And I am going to use the NRTL method. So select NRTL method here and click on next. As you can see that here the source of data is APV double one zero VLE dash IG. It means that liquid phase is handled by NRTL while the gas phase is assumed to be the ideal gas. As the pressure in our case is less than 10 bar, so we can use this source of data. If the pressure is greater than 10 bar, you can use other non-ideal gas mixtures. As you can see here, required properties input is complete, so that's why I'm going to run the simulation. As you can see, the results are available with the warning, so that's why you have to estimate the missing binary parameters using Unifac or other methods. So I am going to take this box and run the simulation again. And now the results are available. Now I am moving towards the simulation tab to make a flow sheet. In order to make the flow sheet, first of all I will mix my streams and by MIBK, water and acetone. So for mixing the streams, I am using this mixture. I am provided two inputs and one output. Let me modify it. Now the streams have been connected. Now I am going to rename the streams. So before moving further, I am going to discuss about these three mixers and splitters. So this one is mixer. Mixer is the is used to combine the multiple streams into a single stream, like mixing teas, stream mixing operations, adding heat streams, and adding water. The second one is FS split. This is used to split stream flows and stream splitters and the bleed valve are its example. While in SS split, it is used to split the substream flows and it is used for uh, solid stream splitter and bleed valves. As I'm going, I want to mix the streams, feed streams, so that's why I'm using this mixer in the flow sheet. So now click on next. This is the input for 
have my VK1. So temperature is 25, pressure is 1 atm, flow rate is mass kg per hour and flow rate is 100 kg per hour. I am going to select the mass, fra uh, mass fraction here. And my VK is 100% so I am putting it 1. So as you can see it is blue tick so our input for the MIBK is completed. Now I am going to click on next. Now we have to provide the input for the water and acetone stream. So temperature is again 25, pressure is 1 atm, mass flow rate is 100 kg per hour and mass fraction is 0.5 for water and 0.5 for acetone. Now again I will click next. And instead, all the required input is complete. You can run the simulation. So I'm going to click on OK. And as you can see here, required input complete. So results are available without any warnings or errors. So in the first step, we have mixed the MBK1 and water and acetone feed. And mixed one is the stream we obtained. Now we have to install a separator here to separate the acetone from water. So this is the tab for separators. So there are five strip separators available. So which one we should use? So flash two is two outlet flash. Like here we get the two outlets. Okay, and it is used for determining the thermal and phase conditions. And the examples are flashes, evaporators, knockout drums, single stage evaporator, and free water. While flash three is three outlet flash and the purpose is similar to flash 2 and it is used for stream splitters and bleed valves while decanter is liquid liquid decanter and it is used to determine the thermal and phase conditions and it is only used for liquid liquid separations so solid stream splitters and the bleed valves is the example so SEP and SEP2 works like the distillation columns but they do not provide the more detailed information like the number of trace requirement and the reflex ratio calculation. So SEP is the multi outlet component separator like here we get the more than two outlets while in the SEP2 only two outlet component separators are required. So remember that MIBK is immiscible with water has this explained why we have to use vapor liquid liquid equilibrium on the other hand flash 2 type is used to describe vapor liquid equilibrium so i am using the flash 3 for separating the acetone from water connect the miss 1 uh, with flash 1 and uh, provide the 3 outlet streams and connect it to the flash 1 Now rename the streams, this is the vapor stream, this is the stream containing MIBK, this is the stream containing water. Now click on next. Now you have to provide the temperature and the pressure. So the temperature is 50 degree Celsius while the pressure is 1 atm. As we have changed the input, I am going to reset my simulation. And now you can see required input is completed. Now I am going to run the simulation. As you can see results are available. So for checking the results for the stream, this is the stream summary. Click on it and select all. So this is the results for the streams. I am going to the mass fraction. This is the mass fraction. And as you can see in the MIBK section, we have obtained 67% MIBK and 27% acetone while 4% water. While in the water stream, uh, we obtained 78% water, 18% acetone and 2% MIBK. So as you can see that the water is only 78% while our requirement was 95%. So in order to obtain 95%, we have to manipulate this flow sheet. So in the next video, I will show you how you can obtain the required 95% of water.